Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from all you guys. Uh, I just finished an hour-long live stream. Actually, my main live stream, which always happens on Monday and Friday nights, will be happening, of course, tonight at 9 o'clock. So we'll be kicking right back in there. I need to get set up and, of course, try and make myself look a little prettier, but it's, it's, it's really a waste of time. Just waste of time trying to make, you can't do anything with this. But in case you have been under a rock, oh, shout out to everybody who did a super chat during that live stream tonight. We're just going to go crazy. We're going to be giving away all kinds of racks. Like, you know, I, I make th this one, I may even, this is a card rack. I may give this one away with some cards to go with it. But we're going to be giving some of those away because we're actually doing some work to uh, improve what we do here. So everybody who did that super chat, we will be drawing some of your names tonight for racks. So, if you just came out from under a rock and you did not hear that the Dallas Cowboys, contrary to what you kept hearing from people like Skip, Skip Bayless, saying that the Dak Prescott would be franchise tag, and some people who said that the Cowboys would tag him and probably trade him for like Russell Wilson or Sean Watson or just, or people who said, well, they're just going to let him walk because he's a garbage-ass quarterback. They ain't going to pay him. Okay, for you guys, pound sand. That's right, pound sand. Okay, you can kiss my high yellow high parts right here, okay, because the Cowboys signed him to a four-year deal. Four years, $164 million, $126 million guaranteed. But wait, there's more. There's two more years that are added on to that that are avoidable years. There's a no-trade contract in there as well. What does this mean? Well, what it means is $22.2 million of a cap hit for this season. Let me say again, $22.2 million for the cap hit. Now, here's what was interesting when we were going through the live stream there. My hand got tired for writing down the Super Chats for the, the, uh, the drawings. Is the haters out there, if you sign that, because now your hand's string now, because you paid, oh, no, no, wait, 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 hold up. This year, we paid $31.7 million to Dak. Right? $31.7 million. And we rolled over $27 million. Huh. We rolled over from the year before $27 million. Even though we paid Dak Prescott 31.7. Hmm. Now we're gonna pay $9 million less this year. Oh, sorry, the heat's coming on, so let me back up here so you don't get that noise. Let me just back up here a little bit here. Huh. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean you're paying less money by signing him to a long-term deal this year? Oh, okay. Now, that's part one. Part two of this is they don't really know what the salary cap's going to be just yet because they're still negotiating. This is what's really amazing to me is people keep telling me, you're an idiot, you don't know what you're talking about. And I kept saying, if you sign Dak and you make this year a team-friendly year, you can sign him for about $22 million this year. Oh, people are like, you're crazy. No, you don't have enough money. Especially you. <clears throat> Not to call somebody out, MC George. You know, I, I hate to put somebody on blast like MC George. And I wouldn't really go ahead and say, you're an idiot, MC George. But you, my man, said, Dak Prescott, they don't have the money to sign him. They won't sign him. They won't tag him. They won't long-term deal him. They won't do anything. Dak is out of here. And I said to you, I tell you what, my man. I tell you what, my man. I said, if that's the case, Dak Prescott doesn't get signed. Hope nobody's on fire around here. If Dak Prescott doesn't get signed, I'd be more than happy to give you a rack. But I said, if you're wrong, that you will come in on one of my videos, and I'll put you on the big screen, and you say, Mark, you the man. I was wrong. I was an idiot. But I don't think you're man enough to come through and do that because you've been dodging. And I probably won't see you. I, I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. You're just going to make another profile. You'll just come in trolling as somebody else because you were wrong. Way wrong. And my hair is crazy. Like me right now. So, the Cowboys get relief. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but that's only temporary. It's, it's short the first year. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's what may actually work in the Cowboys' favor. The NFL is working on the television contract as we speak right now. They're trying to finalize it before next week. They don't know exactly what the salary cap's going to be because that television contract is going to add more money to it. It may end up being that 
contract is $200 million. It's possible. We don't know. And that's where they may end up saying, we're going to put off the franchise tag till we get that exact number. Which is great because the more money we have, the more money we can use actually in free agency. Because in the end, the NFL doesn't want to kick all these veterans out on the street. And then they're unable to get jobs because that's going to hurt the product on the field. So they're going to move heaven and earth to try and make sure they artificially get that cap number up there. Now here's the thing. Here's the beautiful thing about what the Cowboys did. Because they got that first year real nice and team friendly, but they have those other years on there. The salary cap is going to explode. Understand, unlike it's your job and my job, where they say, we've got more work for you, but there's no more pay. There's more work for the players because there's a 17th game. That's more receipts. That's more because they get 48% of the revenue. That goes to the salaries. They have now the television contract, which is literally doubling. You've got Amazon who's trying to buy Thursday Night Football as well as Direct TV. They're going to throw in a whole bunch more money into the salary cap. And then there's gambling. Now, instead of having to go to your favorite you know, casino or go to Vegas or Atlantic City or West Virginia or wherever, you can do it on your phone in like 21 states. And ones that aren't already hooked up to it, they're applying for it. And understand, the Washington football team, which may end up being bought by Jeff Bezos, has already got approval from the state of Maryland to have gambling at the stadium. The salary cap is going to explode next year and will continue for the foreseeable future to literally by 2025, by the time <coughs> Dak Prescott is ready to redo that deal, dudes, it's probably going to be over $400 million. What's going to happen is now the Cowboys arrive to get this done. Guess what? Dak is the number two paid guy in the NFL right now. Josh Allen is going to beat it. Lamar Jackson is going to beat it. And going forward, many guys are going to beat it. A year from now, he might be the fifth. And you got to believe that guys like Russell Wilson and you know Aaron Rodgers are already going to say, I want a new contract. So for the Cowboys to get this done, to get four years where we don't have to worry about it, it's great because now we don't have any contract drama to go in this offseason. It is March, and we can actually focus in on building a team, focus in on the draft and free agents, and get away from all of this Dak Prescott, you know, will they sign him contract issue. We have literally been dealing with this stuff every single year, from D-Law to Zeke to Dak and Dak, and it is great to finally get this off. So I hope you guys tune in 45 minutes from now for our live stream where it's going to be a party. We just going to have fun tonight, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm no script. I'm just going to be in here enjoying you guys and giving stuff away. I'll see you then.